Crops Tiger's initiative to connect home buyers to the experts in the industry from the comfort of their homes. I'm Sneha Sharon. Today we're going to talk about DLF Ultima. I'm joined by Team DLF today and Mr. Sunny Gupta. Warm welcome to all our panelists. Now, DLF is a tall name in the real estate circles with an unparalleled scale of delivery. Prop Tiger is India's largest real estate advisory firm with over 25,000 happy customers. We are providing end-to-end -end assistance and zero brokerage for all our customers. Now, without any delay, may I request my panelists to go ahead with a brief introduction about themselves and the company they are representing. Uh, myself, Naveen Bahel. Team DLF can be part yeah, yeah, myself, yeah, Naveen Bahel, I'm a part of the DLF Ultima team and working with DLF from almost last five years and taking care of DLF Ultima, which is basically in sector 81 in the new Gurgaon. I'll take care uh, of DLF Ultima. Yes. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sunny Gupta. I'm the regional business head uh, North Zone for uh, Prop Tiger. Uh, as, as Neha mentioned, Prop Tiger is, is one of India's leading real estate consultancy, which has been in operation since 2011. And we are having our uh, our presence in all the metro cities of India. Thank you. Thank you, you Sunny. So what is in Gurgaon sector 81 that makes it a promising investment destination? And what does DLF Ultima have for its home buyers? Here's a quick look. We have a three minute video, especially for our viewers to understand that. Can you have the video please? With a phenomenal growth in per capita income, home to nearly 500 MNCs, of which more than 250 are Fortune 500 companies, blessed with unparalleled social infrastructure and connectivity, Gurugram is truly the Millennium City. With its proximity to Delhi, it not only benefits from its commercial standings, but leverages its political mileage as well. The increase in commercial activities paired with various infrastructure upgrades has helped Gurugram real estate to thrive. Primarily being the favoured destination for mid and upper ticket size housing units, the presence of corporate offices has given an added boost to this factor. With this, the demand for housing is not just sustainable but is also increasing. Sector 81 is one of the best locality in New Gurgaon. Something that sets Sector 81 Gurgaon apart from other developed sectors of Gurgaon is that it comprises an elite community and is abundant in vast and green landscapes. The residential community enjoys proximity to some swanky malls and restaurants. The schools and hospitals nearby make the location a perfect choice for every family. Sector 81 has quite a few benchmark projects launched by renowned developers and has witnessed a tremendous demand in the last few years. One such premier developer is DLF. DLF has been in the field of real estate development since 1946 and has grown significantly by leaps and bounds over the years, crafting customized developments to go with the requirements, office spaces, homes and recreation centers. In a nation that come to believe the fact that real estate comes only at a premium, this company's tagline, Building India, came in as a smart and energizing change and that was received well by everyone. DLF's latest state-of-the-art project is DLF Ultima. Set in the serene and balmy DLF Garden City Gurgaon at Sector 81, this development has a well-planned elevation of high-rise towers presenting a grand splendor within the modern sophistication attained through best planning. It conveys the contemporary charm allied with Indian customs and values. The residential project consists of luxury 3 and 4 BHK residential apartments and each unit on its set floor and has the benefit of uninterrupted green views. The creation of a property like the DLF Ultima needs an understanding that goes deeper than bricks and mortar. It requires an insight that every feature and every inch are tools that shape a lifestyle. Well, thank you for that. So we'll begin with the questions now. So in the real estate space, DLF has maintained its position for years now. Naveen, what in your opinion is that <clears throat> one thing that Firm never compromises on. 
Sorry, can you repeat the question again? There was a, some network connectivity. In the real estate space, yeah. DLF has maintained its position for years now. What in your opinion is the thing that the firm never compromises on? Uh, DLF is basic. Amisar has also joined. I sorry, sorry guys. I I am very very late. But uh, Sneha, you can ask Amisar about and, this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you, Mr. Kaikal. So I was Hi, asking, Sina. in the real estate space, DLF has maintained its position for years now. What, in your opinion, is that one thing that the firm never compromises on? I think, uh, thanks, thanks, Neha. And I think what Thank you us. asked is a fantastic question. And I think everyone here, and I see a full house here. So a very warm welcome to all the participants. And thank you for taking out time for joining uh, this webinar. And I think it's an honor to be partnered with Prop Tiger and to present to such a large audience from all across, I think not just NCR, but I'm sure a lot of people are from outside NCR as well. So Sneha, I think you've put in uh, a very good question where I think the, and just before I answer your question, I'll tell everyone that as DLF, we will be starting the celebration of our 75th year of inception in September this year. The company was incepted in 1946 in September and in September 2020, we will start the 75 year celebrations, which will go on for complete one year. And I think the proof of the pudding is in the eating and the very fact that a developer in NCR has grown over the last 75 years has played a pivotal role in development of South Delhi. I'm sure a lot of people here know that some of the primest colonies of South Delhi have been developed by DLF, including Greater Kailash, including South Extension, including Boss Cars, and multiple societies. Then the focus of the company shifted to Gurgaon, where we were the pioneers of development of Gurgaon, whether it was residential or whether it was commercial, from the late 70s, early 80s to now. So we have been in Gurgaon for over 40 years. And I think the one thing, answering your question, Sneha, which has been instrumental in helping DLF grow from initial stages to today has been that we have never compromised on the trust of the people. I think we have over 50,000 customers who have bought properties from us, uh, from us across 40 years. And the one thing that we have never done is we have never let them down. Whether it is the quality of the product, whether it is the after sale service, or I think one thing which is very, very important for people to realize is that we are not selling you a brick and mortar building or a house. We are selling you a home. We are selling you a community lifestyle. And I think what we are very good at is, which other developers are not, is that we ensure that the project post completion is maintained and run in the best possible way. So I think that is the legacy where people have trusted DLF with their hard-earned money and have continued to enjoy a quality of living post buying the property also. And which is what helps us in getting a word of mouth publicity and a huge referral. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kaike. I think Thanks, Mr. Shabra is also here. Mr. Shabra. Yeah, Gaurav is also here. Hi, good afternoon. Could you just go ahead? With the brief introduction about you since you just joined. Yeah, hi. So, uh, very good afternoon to everyone, and uh, you know, welcome to this webinar of DLF and Prop Tiger. I think it's a great occasion uh, to do this jointly. Uh, thanks, Sunny, for organizing it from Prop Tiger's side. I think we guys have been working very, very closely uh, since the time I've uh, joined DLF almost a year and a half back. So, just to give you an introduction, uh, my name, full name is Gaurav Chhabra. Mm -hmm. I work with uh, DLF for the last one and a half years now and overall 16 years plus experience across real estate, banking and insurance sector, uh, across Bombay and uh, Delhi locations. And uh, very proud to be associated with DLF. It's the biggest developer, most reputable developer. And uh, I think uh, it's a great, uh, I think so what's happening is we've been doing series of these webinars with our clients, with our channel partners and trying to reach out to as many people as possible using technology, because we realized that how the world has changed in the last two, three months. Uh, I think it's best to uh, accept it, adapt to it, and use innovative solutions to reach out to clients and channel partners alike. And I think it's a great initiative which, which Prop Tiger team has taken here, uh, presenting jointly as partners uh, one of the best projects, you know, which I have personally seen across multiple markets where I've worked in. 
and uh, I think so. That's we have. We believe we have a very strong offering in, in at hand uh, to offer to clients, and we'd we'll love to take you through the product details and answer any questions which may which anyone has uh, on this forum. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Shabra. Sunny, coming to you. With COVID nineteen around, what do you think is the fate of luxury markets? Uh, well, I think this is something which is very debatable. Uh, although there have been reports of luxury homes seeing a dip in pricing by about uh, three to five percent, uh, but we need to keep in mind the other variables that bring uh, volatility in the real estate pricing. Now there are factors such as the construction stage of the property. Now we may see a dip in situations where the project is at an initial stage and the developer is hard pressed to sell the inventory at a lower price or the units at a lower price to maintain their liquidity. Whereas there could be developments where the work is in uh, work is complete or uh, it's in the finishing stages, and the developer has already put in all the money which was required to uh, do the project. So developer in that situation will not have any troubles in waiting and demanding the right price for the product. And secondly, uh, the developer brand name. Obviously, uh, there will be some big developers having deep pockets uh, who can ensure that there is no impact on the quality of construction and there are no delays. in the construction that uh, the construction and uh, they might charge a marginal premium for that but uh, really it's it's really worth paying uh, that premium keeping in uh, keeping in mind the fact that category b or category c developers they might charge you less at this point of time but will eventually compromise on the quality and the timely delivery which ultimately adds up to your renovation and the interest costs so my reading of this situation is that if the product is ready Or nearing completion, and as from a reputed developer, I do not see a reason for the prices to come down. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chabra. Can you tell us the USP of DLF Ultima? Sorry, can you repeat? Your voice is uh, breaking. If you can just repeat that again. Can you tell me the USP of DLF Ultima? Okay, great. So I think it's a uh, so uh, so. Of course, there are multitude of USPs and uh, key, you know. selling points which we have for ultima but what i would like to highlight is that anybody who is aspiring you know and i think anybody who's lived in gurgaon lived in ncr especially anybody who's aspiring for a luxurious address and not just an address by zip code but also an address in terms of amenities uh, the specifications the the landscaping the club the luxury touch and feel but may may or may not be able to spend or may not be wanted to spend that kind of money which probably he would need to buy something on on golf course road probably in one of our projects i think for them ultima is the most luxurious project which can offer at that very very highly competitive price uh, and at, of course there is certain premium to dlf properties uh, because we believe we build the best so i think key usps to talk about ultima is it's a very very low density project i think looking at the situation which we have at hand given the covid scenario Uh, we only have 40 families per acre it's a very large project 23 acres well landscaped only 900 families and the best part is that if you look at the 4 bhk towers they only two units per floor uh, some units are even three side open all the apartments whether they are 3 bhk or 4 bhk come with an additional room which you can use as a study room or a servant room given the covid situation and post covid environment which you will be living in uh you know it's i think it's a it's a great boon to have additional space because you might be doing a lot of official meetings like we are doing right now sitting at our homes and you need that space to do your meetings that is one point other point is i think for a for a family because we large, normally and largely attract uh, families uh upwardly mobile nuclear families younger families 30 to 45 age bracket so for them we have given a host of amenities uh one of the largest club houses 50000 square feet club house is there which has some of the some of the amazing uh, amenities like a private movie theater you know uh, separate swimming pools uh, you know indoor outdoor kitchen with restaurants and and a host of other amenities which are there also i think uh, the specifications uh, is something which is the lot of consumers looking for uh, see you, anybody can make a house you know ultimately just brick and mortar but what you're giving inside the house so the touch and feel which you get in a in a deal of ultima is unparalleled for that price point you can go around the entire micro market uh you may feel somebody's 10 square feet larger than us but the internal specification the quality of the internal fittings uh, i don't think anybody can match it at the price point which you're selling at so i think these are the few key points which i would like to park for dlf ultima okay 
thank you. Uh, also, tell us how do you address grievances of home buyers, if any? Is there a so, dedicated center? Yes, so, is course, how do you so, address the grievances of home buyers? Yeah, please go ahead. So, of course, the uh, dealers being a very large uh, setup, so we have offices and customers all across India, and we have projects in various states, more than 10 states, where we have residential or commercial or leasing uh, portfolios. So we have a centralized uh, CRM team, customer relation management team. Uh, so there's a proper vertical uh, within our company, which has been there for ages. And they're extremely uh, you know, uh, apt at handling customer grievances, uh, post sales, especially post sales. Because what, what is very important in a sales cycle is that, of course, a sales guy is very dynamic in nature, you know, and, uh, and will do his best to offer you a product, you know, when you're trying to, when you're trying to buy or compare in the market. But what customers are really looking for, and since real estate is a long-term product, is a post-sale experience. And I think whether it's registration, whether it's uh, getting agreements done, whether it's handover, the possessions, we take a lot of due diligence in giving customer a fabulous experience. And one testament to this fact I would like to share is that we get a lot of referrals from existing buyers. You know, so if, if, even if I take an example of Ultima, a lot of uh, uh, bookings which we've received are from people who are already staying in DLF properties across NCR and they have referred their relatives or their friends and families. So that is a testament to how well we manage our relationships, uh, you know, in terms of, like you said, in terms of a grievance sale, but I would like to call it a customer relationship management sale, which we have. Uh, not necessarily everybody comes back to us with grievances, but there are also happy occasions when we, you know, like for example, a position ceremony. So we have an entire beautiful ceremony around it you know, uh, the certain things which we do. So we do, we take, a lot, take care of our clients. We have a proper team. And especially for Ultima, especially for New Gurgaon, we have an exclusive SCRM team, which is working for one of our offices in Sector 74A. It's a 10-member team. So uh, my submission to everyone is that even after sales, you will have a large team of 10 people who will be looking after your, any, any issues pertaining to possession or living, everything in Ultima post-sale also. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chabra. Mr. Taikar, coming to you, how has digital shift helped developer firms? Where do Sorry, you see the sector? Neha, I lost you. Uh, your voice was cracking, so I couldn't understand what. Okay. Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Uh, my question is how has the digital shift helped for developer firms? And where do you see the sector in the next three years? Am I audible? Yeah, so uh, I think what you're asking is how has the digital shift yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, helped developer. Yeah. So uh, again, I think Sneha, I'll go back in time before I answer this. So I have been in real estate for almost, almost 20 to 23 years. And I have seen a time when real estate marketing used to be a classified business where channel partners, builders used to use newspapers and go and give classified ads or display ads or hoardings, and that used to be the only form of communication. Television used to be out of bounds because it was very, very expensive. And we could not, you know, then came the time of SMSs, where SMSs became very, very popular. But over the last five years, I think, with internet penetration going up in the country, and the smartphone wave, which has uh, helped reach uh, even not just the cities, but even villages, so I think what has happened is that because of the digitization of the country, we now have a smartphone in the hands of millions of people. And I think communication has become easier. And with technology being what it is and growing at the pace at which it is, I think it has become far easier to display your product on the web. And it has made it accessible to millions of people at one go. So it has now become easier to dispense information and with aggregators like housing, which is part of the uh, prop tiger portfolio company, which is showcasing all this information together. So it has become far easier for developers and customers to get knowledge and information, which was not the case 10 years ago or 15 years ago, because it was a very, very opaque system initially. But today, thanks to housing, thanks to prop tiger, I think everyone now has information at their fingertips. And I think this has become very, very good and uh, important for the industry. Also going ahead, I think, especially because of COVID, I think what is now going to happen is, till now the process of acquiring a property has been 
where once you get the information from the web, from a portal, from a website, you go and visit the website, uh, you visit the site, the project, and you are the property and then you sit with the uh, sales team of the developer and then you negotiate and you close the transaction. So I think this process will now also shift online because of COVID, where the site visit experience will also shift online. And as DLF, we are also building a very large tech platform which will help customers see the property, experience the property online, whether it is through virtual tours, whether it is through drone views, whether it is through walkthroughs or videos. So we are now building a platform where coming to the site will not become the only way in which you can see the property. You can see the property digitally and you can also book the property digitally. So I think that is the shift that is going to happen in the buying process. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, before we move on to some audience questions, may I request Mr. Kaiker to walk us through the project for the benefit of our viewers? Can oh, sure. Please have the presentation, please. Sure, sure. So I think Naveen will go. Naveen, have you gone through the presentation? Naveen, you are on mute. You are on mute, Naveen. Yeah, okay. Naveen, have you gone through the presentation? No, no, sir. We'll start now, sir. Okay, so just before you start the presentation, I'll give a macro overview of uh, New Gurgaon. So just to let the past participants know, and I see they are growing by the minute. So we are a team uh, which is based out of a region called New Gurgaon in Gurgaon. So as everyone knows, New Gurgaon is today located on the highway and is very well placed between two huge centers of demand. There is Manasar, which is about five minutes ahead of New Gurgaon. And there is Cyber City, which is about 20 minutes before New Gurgaon. Both of these demand centers are on the highway. So I think the biggest advantage for New Gurgaon today is that you are bang on the highway. Your connectivity is impeccable. There is a huge infrastructure push that is coming from the government in terms of linking up New Gurgaon to all centers within NCR, whether it is the airport, whether it is cyber city, whether it is other parts of Gurgaon. There is a rapid metro which has been sanctioned. The tender has been sanctioned. The work has started. The clover leaf has started along the NH8 and the SPR and the NPR. Manisar is buzzing with activity with, I'm sure a lot of people have uh, read the news that there are at least 150 companies that are leaving China and are now coming to India. And we expect a large portion of those companies to come to Gurgaon. And where in Gurgaon will they come other than only Manisar? Because that is where the land is available for industrial. So I'm saying new Gurgaon is that cusp of Gurgaon where we are poised for huge growth. And within new Gurgaon as DLF, we have five projects which are all ready to move in and across all multiple price points. So I think the one advantage that we give to customers today is that you don't have to risk your hard earned money in buying under construction projects where you don't know the timelines of uh, connective. Uh, you don't know the timelines of possession. You don't know if you give up your hard earned money to a builder, whether he will even give you your possession or not. Here, there is no risk. Here you are seeing a property and you are getting the property as you see it and immediately. And we have properties starting from 1.25 crore and it goes up to 2.5, 2.7 crore. So depending on your budget, we can give you multiple properties within New Gurgaon, which is the booming area of Gurgaon. So I think Naveen will give a presentation and overall and we'll keep giving you more uh, details about the uh, thing. Sunny, can you... Uh, so over to you, Naveen. I can't see there is some connectivity issue. I can't see this. Uh, can you uh, can you come to the page two, please? Next one. Deal of Ultima uh, is in basically. Uh, the first question is, is this the right time to buy Ultima? Because uh, I'll tell you the biggest advantage for buying an Ultima at present. It's a ready to move in property. 
and already around 250 family are staying in our complexes. This is the best way because everything is ready in our complexes. That will always help uh, to make you know customer to make early decision, and it will always help them because they are buying the best property which is ready to move in. Can you next please? Next. Why DLF? Because uh, you won't believe after this COVID-19, we are taking care of all the complexes in a better way because we have a full dedicated team who are staying in the complexes from the day one, the lockdown started and they are taking care of each and everything in the complex. Plus they are taking care of hygiene and everything, right? Sanitizer, sanitization of the common area, sanitization of the door handles, the basements, the parking, everything. Plus we people are also helping all the residents to take care because they, we are giving them all the deliveries and all at their doorstep just so that they should not come out and they should save in their homes. That's the thing at present DLF is doing across all projects across India. DLF is the basic luxurious product we have at present and it's awarded also. And the biggest advantage for Ultima is the super connectivity from the NH8. It's, it's main on the highway. It's around 200 meter inside from the highway. As you enter the garden city, it's the first product and the, the biggest advantage is the location plus the specification we are giving in the complex is a fully loaded specifications we are giving like your bedrooms, your imported marble, kitchen, everything is fully loaded we are given. The, another USP the Ultima is having is the clubhouse. It's 50,000 square feet of the clubhouse which is the most luxurious clubhouse del uh, designed by Belki Lenis who are designed at Magnolia's club, which is at present the best club at present in, in, in Gurgaon. Then comes the another USP of Ultima is the landscaping is done by Paul Friedbach. He is the man who have designed most of the complexes. Most of the customer have already seen and the existing customer has always praised about the greenery we people maintain in our complexes. Another advantage is the low density project. We have taken care of all apartment and all the apartments that tower are placed like this. There is, we have taken care of all the sunlight and proper air come through. Plus, then we have a grocery shop, cafeteria, everything is there in the clubhouse as well as in the common area. And the another advantage is we have all approvals in place. All approvals means we, because already clients are staying, we have OC also received other approvals, everything is there with Ultima. Next. Then uh, in case of any, uh, just to take care of that, we have a 24 by 7 security services. Then we have a shuttle services to connect from uh, Ultima to other parts of Gurgaon, like your cyber city, because most of the people work in Gurgaon who are staying in our complexes are working in cyber city. So we have a super connectivity through our, you know, shuttle services. Then we have a special tie with some leading hospital to have a doctor's room. We'll take care of the OPD services. Then we have a 24 by 7 quick response team is also there. Right, who take care of uh, of the whole deal of Garden City area. The biggest advantage at present, we uh, never before have gained price advantage. We have given select few inventory because we have very limited inventory available. We have launched this product in October and we have almost sold around 475 apartment in the first phase. And we have only limited units available at present. Connectivity, we have already discussed it's around 200 meter inside from the main highway and as you and it's around 20 minutes drive from the cyber city area and other leading areas like CBD like sector 31. Then this comes the site plan site plan is basically 23 acres of a group housing with around 15 towers we are having and is a combination of luxurious three bedroom and the four bedroom units with all with the servant quarter and then the clubhouse. Then this is a three bedroom layout we have. It's an area of around 2100 square feet. It's a three bedroom, three toilets, corner unit with the five balconies. And we are selling this apartment as a fully loaded apartment like imported marble, wardrobe in all the bedrooms. Then kitchen also we are giving fully modular kitchen with all white goods, appliances, everything we are giving by of top notch brand Siemens. Then we are giving uh, fans and we are air conditioning. Everything is loaded in the apartment. This is a four bedroom layout. Four bedroom is again two side open apartment. Specification of three and a four bedroom both are same. Next, Sneha. 
the biggest advantage is the greenery all the apartment in ultima are facing the central green area most of the apartment and they are facing this main central green of around seven and a half acre which is well maintained and designed by paul friedberg this is the main two usps of uh, our product like a club is designed by belki lenes and arts landscaping is done by our product uh, paul friedberg The, another advantage is a fully air conditioned lobby the building is fully air conditioned and we have this lavish double height air conditioned lobby with a sitting lounge and a concierge services also there at the reception and we have used the most luxurious stones available at present just to give more aesthetic and more luxury to your lobbies this is the overall view the another advantage of ultima is the terrace gardens also like we have used those spaces which are of no use Uh, which are basically don't nobody use that the terrace gardens we are giving barbecue terrace gardens top floor this is the terraces are other terrace garden that can be used for small parties or maybe small you can uh, in the good weather people can uh, clients can go or the, they can go and sit there then we have a water bodies also there all the tar has all the lobbies are they have welcoming water bodies in front of it then we have a kids play area very luxurious kids play is also there these things we have already discussed next then uh, comes the basically the feature and the facilities in the club hall can you go back please if you see from the sports point of view we have a uh, gymnasium in there squash court bill, basketball court cricket pitch tennis court badminton court all just to take care of the all the sports activities we have taken care of all the sports will be there in the complex like we have given cricket pitch basketball court tennis court badminton court and if you see from the club point of view we have av room is there we have a 27 seater high end very audio visual room is there then we have a full fledged multi cuisine restaurant a bar will be there in the club house then we have a community center stilt area is also used a like stilt area everybody use that area either for the flats or they use as the parking space that area we are giving as a extended you know extra curricular activity areas and that area we have converted into a extended club and uh, basically like a common areas we have created then we have a cards room and crutch is also there in the complex with the spa facilities so this is the view we have we have two swimming pool in the complex because we have a, around 900 apartment in the complex and we have two pools one is with the clubhouse and one we have with the open area next then comes the pricing part of our three bedroom starts with around 1 crore 73 lakh rupees all inclusive and the four bedroom start with 2 crore 34 lakh 2 crore 32 to 2.50 crores and our payment plan is very attractive payment plan we have a payment plan for four months because we are giving a we are a four months payment plan client can pay that amount in a four months time as per the six schedule like 5 lakh is the booking amount 10% they can complete in 2 months and the remaining amount you can pay in 4 months time next now this is all about ultima ultima is a basically combination of 3 and a 4 bedroom apartment thank you all thank you navin for that very comprehensive presentation uh, we'll quickly move over to the audience questions um the first question is to you mrikar it's coming from rishi pandit connectivity to dlf ultima is very difficult what infrastructural developments can home buyers bank on okay okay thank you thank you sneha and thank you mr pandit for asking this question i think this is a very very important question and i'm sure most of the participants who are here would be wanting to find out what is the answer to this question so as i said over the last 5 years there has been a tremendous uh, improvement in the connectivity of new gurgaon vis-a-vis all parts of ncr i would say so if you are looking at one the main connectivity has been through the highway over the last few years everyone in gurgaon has witnessed the improvement that has happened on the highway i am sure people remember that 5 years ago there used to be terrible traffic jams even on the highway because people wanted to turn right they wanted to take a u turn they wanted to get on a flyover they wanted to get off a flyover 
but i think over the last few years a lot of clover leaves have come up a lot of underground uh, passages have come up which has made the highway almost seamless so this has led to a huge amount of connectivity to new gurgaon from all centers of demand whether it is sector 32 which is a main hub for offices whether it is our own dlf cyber city where we have almost 500000 employees working in our 20 buildings or whether it is manisar where connectivity has been seamless then another connectivity which has improved is on the northern peripheral road which is what we call as the dwarka expressway and the southern peripheral road there again i'm sure people know that there is a huge clover leaf which is now under construction as we speak the tender of which has been given to lnt and i think over the next 12 months this clover leaf will be up and about so connecting new gurgaon to sona road and connecting new gurgaon to dwarka expressway will become seamless travel there will become seamless similarly airport will become a seamless connection because of the dwarka expressway which is going and connecting to the airport either through the dwarka expressway or through the highway similarly there are plans by the government to extend the metro also and i am sure people are aware that there is a mass rapid transit system which has not only been planned but the first tender of which which connects parts of east delhi and western up so starting from meerut going up to akshardham then crossing kanot place then going behind rashtrapati bhavan then getting on the highway and behind dwarka and then going right along the highway and crossing in front of ultima from the highway so this rapid rail transit system has not only been planned but the first tender for construction up to rajiv chowk has already been given so construction i think will start post this covid uh, gap and i think over the next 2 3 years we will have a mass rapid transit system also available here so i think connectivity is a work in progress and we are improving on a daily basis and i'm sure that is the reason customers are looking at buying this because they have seamless connectivity gorav do you want to add something here yeah i think so just to add on to amit's point i would like to just highlight on two three very salient features in terms of connectivity so uh, just to share a um, lot of the interest which we receive normally after people who are working in cyber city which of course everyone knows in ncr houses the maximum number of fortune 500 companies in fact your own uh, the presentation in the beginning was saying that almost 500 mnc's are in, in gurgaon and uh, as dlf uh, employee i can tell you that more than 350 fortune and forbes listed companies are working out of cyber city Uh, and we get a lot of customers who are working in banking consultancy uh, aviation various other sectors in cyber city so uh, cyber city uh, very happy to tell you is hardly 25 30 minutes uh, from ultima and i can say this by my own experience because we have a head office at gateway towers which is right in the beginning of cyber city so at many times we go there for various meetings and come back to ultima which is where our sales office also happens to be so 25 30 minutes it takes uh, to cyber city uh, other key locations like hura city center horizon a sector 29 which has a lot of retail establishments these are all seamlessly connected without any signal in between i think the only only i would say the only bottleneck which takes 5 to 7 minutes right now is kharki dola toll uh, i was seeing some of the some of the people have asked this question also which i think if you've been watching the news for last many months there's been a lot of lobbying uh, which is going on uh, even the uh, uh, from the residents of new gurgaon because the new gurgaon itself as a region has grown up in you know by leaps and bounds in last 7 years so Seven eight years back, there were hardly five six thousand families staying there. Now the population of New Gurgaon is more than a lakh. So there is a huge push, and government is also looking into it. In fact, they've already acquired a huge land parcel in Panchgaon, which is ten kilometers down on the highway. And unfortunately, due to NGT ban on construction earlier and now lockdown, there is a slight delay, which we understand from the authorities in terms of uh, building the new toll. But I'm sure after the lockdown, maybe six to ten months, the toll should be up and running. And once that happens, you will see this toll also going away. So New Gurgaon will feel like Gurgaon itself. Then you know they 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 won't be anything called as New Gurgaon once the toll is out. That is only a psychological thing which is there right now. So I think that's something which I'd like to add in addition to what Amit already added. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shabra. So I hope, Mr. Pandit, your uh, question has been sufficiently answered. Yeah, yeah, you have. Thanks, Shabra. Thank you. We move on to the next question coming from the top. Yes, well, Sunny, this is for you. we are a family with both aged parents and young children is the neighborhood suitable for us uh, mr jaiswal uh, 
uh, all the prominent schools of gurgaon are having bus route connectivity in new gurgaon and even hospitals such as uh, rockland are very close medanta is approximately 15 minutes drive from this location uh, in terms of the daily needs uh, big bazaar is coming up with one of its largest outlets of gurgaon which is approximately uh, 60000 square feet and that is right opposite dlf artima so in terms of livability score i think this is one of the most uh, prominent locations one can seek for i think if i could just add to sunny's point you know uh, in addition to what sunny has mentioned so uh, as we speak there are two very large retail establishments which are in very very close proximity to ultima so safar so 83 and uh, wadiga town square these are already existing retail destinations which have everything from inox to retail shops to fnb restaurants you know clothing options so there are already these establishments are there along with that leading banks already have branches in close proximity to ultima also one very important for for families like i said a lot of younger families are moving to ultima is that because you are going to be at, staying in a dlf property and this is something which dlf uh, has arranged for his residences that all the leading schools in gurgaon and not, not just the schools in new gurgaon all the leading schools in gurgaon also provide pick and drop to all dlf societies in new gurgaon so ultima happens to be our fifth uh, delivered project in new gurgaon so whether you look at skycore or regal or Uh, primers and nth all those is uh, delivered projects already have become drop for most of the reputed schools which are even on gurgaon maybe sun city heritage jd goinka all these top brands also give pick up and drop dlf projects for sure and which we have which i can tell you as a confirmed word and we have confirmed from our facilities as well so this is again added advantage for younger uh, younger children uh, i think to to answer a point about elderly people i would you uh, know one very very important point and which is a one one of a usp is that if you're looking at a 4 bhk apartment i just give example of 4 bhk right now but if you look at a 4 bhk apartment you'll be happy to know that uh, we have apartments which are giving you very very good sunlight and i think elderly people we all have parents they enjoy sunlight especially in winter so november to march or april could be very difficult time for elderly people because of the harsh cold in delhi uh, you can get glorious sun from 11 till 5 pm and all our apartments come with large decks so that's an added advantage to a lot of elderly people also like anavin pointed out we have huge expanse of green areas where where they can go sit you know and there are nice corners which we made there are gazebos which we made they can spend some quality time there as well and in peace so i think this this is the way we ans uh, you know we cater to younger crowd also as well as elderly crowd also thank you Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chabra. We have another question for you coming in from Rachna Philip. What will be the total cost of a three BHK unit here? Is it above the average rate that exists in Gurgaon eighty one? Okay, so um, so see, uh, though Navin has covered the the price points on the presentation, but I just reiterate so three BHK. So when we say three BHK, so three BHK plus uh, additional room, which obviously is a servant room, or you can use it for other purposes uh, once you take possession. So three BHK plus seven uh, typically starts from one point seven three CR onwards, uh, okay. Uh, and when I say that this, this is an all-inclusive cost, uh, only two aspects which are not included in the cost is your IBMS and your uh, stamp duty registration, which goes to the authorities. Uh, largely, it includes all your whether it's a car parking, whether it's a club membership, all that is inclusive in the cost. It's a landed cost which I'm talking about. And yes, it is higher than the prevailing prices in New Gurgaon. because we believe our property the what we've delivered is definitely um, several notches above what you see in the micro market there uh, also uh, i think dlf has always had track record of establishing price points in various micro markets and that's how the micro markets are perceived to be doing well uh, where the benchmark becomes what the dlf price is and i'm again very happy to share that if someone feels that our properties are more premium than what they should be i give you a live example so our property primus which is hardly 2 kilometers from ultima a delivered property where there is 90% uh, livability already it's that itself is you know hardly 2 or 300 rupees lower than what price we are selling ultima at in the resale market so that is a huge testament to what price dlf can command because it's not just a zip code like i said in the beginning is far it's a lifestyle it's a culture it's a society which you are offering The whole ecosystem which you are offering, so there will always be a certain premium to the data property, but I think it's very, very compar comparatively priced uh, right now. Right. Thank you. Uh, 
Yes, Neeraj Aluwalia asking us, what is the scope of capital appreciation in DLF Ultima in the mid to long run? I think prices may drop, so will it be a fruitful investment? Mr. Kaiser, do you want to pick up? Okay. So I think this is again a question which is, I'm sure, on the mind of everyone. And again, I would want to give a little bit of a perspective on this. So starting from where Gaurav was discussing, so if you talk to me on pricing, I my take on pricing, especially for DLF products in New Gurgaon, is that comparing them to products of other builders is not a fair comparison. I think typically, and people have seen this over the last few years, that if you look at projects developed by other builders in New Gurgaon, habitation in those projects has not happened. A lot of people have bought those apartments, but people, because are not getting the services that they want, have not moved into those societies, which has led to a little bit of a depreciation in the quality of living in those properties. Also, the specifications and the features and the facilities that are available in other projects are not at all comparable to DLF facilities, DLF project uh, habitation facilities. So therefore, I think the product that DLF offers and the price that it offers at is actually something non-comparable to other projects. And if you ask me, today, the price at which DLF products are available in New Gurgaon, it is a steal. If you do an apple to apple comparison for if you see what product, what facility, what specification, what quality of living that you get in DLF compared to other projects, I think we are actually cheaper than all other projects. That is my take on the current pricing. Also, I think this is a question that you've asked Neha, that will prices go down? What will be the impact of COVID? So I keep getting this question from a lot of customers, from a lot of, so just to give you the good news that, you know, I think the first week, 10 days of the COVID lockdown, I think was also having an impact on DLF. But I think over the last 15, 20 days, our sales is also now almost back on track we are now getting a huge amount of demand. So I'll give you a little bit of a perspective on that. So what has happened is that we are seeing three things right now. One, in DLF, what we are seeing, we are seeing a huge amount of demand from NRIs. So because of the COVID impact on the economies around the globe, a lot of NRIs who are now sitting outside India are realizing that the one-stop destination that is there to invest is India. And when you look at India, you come to Delhi, Gurgaon. And when you come to Gurgaon, the only place that people are investing is, is DLF. So normally DLF being a big brand, we see a lot of NRI queries. But the last 15, 20 days, 30 days, our inquiries from NRIs has gone up almost three, four times than the average, which is a very, very positive sign. Similarly, I think the impact of COVID will be more on developers whose projects are under construction because of lack of sales, lack of funding, so their cash flows will get disrupted. And therefore, a lot of demand we see in the market is now tending towards ready to move in because people are not willing to risk their money in under construction projects where timelines of delivery are uncertain. So we are now seeing, I think 80% of the inquiries that have come to DLF over the last 13 days are inquiries through channel partners, through uh, websites of people who were initially looking at under construction projects, but are now shifting their demand to us. And they are very clear that, sir, we were looking at that project, but now we don't know if that project will get completed. So therefore we don't want to take a risk. And therefore we are now coming to DLF because so people can see the product. They know it is ready to move in. And in Ultima, we already have 150, 200 families which have started living in. So people are comfortable and they're looking at that. So therefore, what I'm saying is historically, every April, DLF increases its price by five to 7%. And I think the only impact COVID has had is that we have deferred the price increment by a few weeks. And these are projects where we have almost sold out 85, 90%. We have resumed our sales. So I think this is the best time to buy a DLF at these prices. You never get this product at this price ever again. And if you ask me, we are at least 
See, we can at least see a 20 to 25 percent premium on this price over the next one and a half two years. That is the level of appreciation that we can see. And I would request everyone to evaluate this project and book this project because this is the time to buy this project. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kerker. We'll quickly move on to the next question. There are yeah, plenty of questions coming in. Unfortunately, we don't have so much time. Uh, I'll move to the next question, which comes from Manoj Gaikwad. Uh, this is for Mr. Chabra. I am an NRI and wish to buy a property in DLF Ultima. Do you have any managed services for home buyers who are not buying for end use or rental purposes? I am ready to pay for such services. Mr. Chabra. Excellent. I think very, very pertinent uh, question. Uh, and uh, I think we get a lot of interest from people. And like, like uh, you know, here again, it was asked that, what if I don't, what if I'm not the end user, you know? So there's always a mix. If you look at any residential project, there's always a mix of end users versus uh, people who are just looking at leasing it out. Maybe it's a second or third property, or maybe it's an investment for them. Maybe they're NRI, like you said. So uh, one thing I would like to point out is that this is one area where DLF really has an expertise. You know, if you look at our projects on Golf Course Store or our other projects also, we've always attracted a lot of interest of NRI customers because when, like Amit said, when they look at investing back home, I think they always want to go for a reputed developer. Now to uh, enable this, uh, you know, for, for people who are not based here and to take care of their, you know, uh, perceived issues in terms of leasing it out. So we have a dedicated leasing team in place, uh, residential leasing team in place and uh, for Ultima especially, you know, and the, and the core job is to connect customer with the like-minded uh, and the kind of segment of buyers or, uh, you know, lessees who we want to inhabit Ultima, you know. So that's what we do. So we have a team of two people right now. Uh, they are based out of Ultima. Uh, if you buying Ultima and you don't want to live it here, you want to lease it out, we will be happily uh, willing to, you know, uh, service your requirement uh, and without any additional charge. This is a DLF. They are DLF employees. They're not outsiders. They're DLF employees. They're full-time employees who will connect you with the right kind of a tenant you're looking for. Also, I think we take a lot of care in shortlisting the tenants in DLF properties. Uh, so like-minded people should be staying there ideally so that the ecosystem is friendly and, and people are comfortable, uh, staying there. So we, uh, we go to the best corporates, we go to the best, uh, multinationals, we go to the best NRI set of people, expats, which will not only give you higher rentals compared to what the micro market is delivering, but also give you a good gentry. Uh, so they, it gives, creates more amiable living spaces. So that to, uh, that is to answer your question. Thank you. Also, I just want to add one more thing, Gaurav, that uh, we, uh, just to answer his question also, that for NRIs who are now coming into India and maybe don't want to make a buy decision immediately, so right. have a couple of uh, sub managed service operators who have taken up apartments on lease from us in our various projects and are doing managed apartments. So someone like you can come into India take up an apartment which is completely managed by a top class operator where you don't need to put in any investment in furniture, any investment in anything. So it is like you're living out of a hotel, which is your own apartment and you're paying for the services that you are using. And these can be short term uh, move-ins where you can come in, maybe live in for three months, six months, by the time you can evaluate the project and buy the project. So answering your question, yes, there are operators who are offering managed service apartments and you can come in and take that. So you can connect with the team and they can connect you to these operators where you can take these properties. Thank you. Uh, Sunny, we have a question from Bartika Shivasta who is saying, I heard there is a primary school here. I am a self-employed woman running a small daycare. Will I be allowed to operate within the premises? Sneha, uh, I didn't get your question completely. Are you saying that she wants to run a daycare in the uh, society? Yes, the premises. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I am afraid uh, that's that's not allowed. Uh, we not do not allow any commercial activities uh, within the apartments. Uh, for the daycare services, uh, DLF already has done tie-ups, and uh, some prominent brands are going to be servicing those requirements of the people who are living in the society. Correct. But I don't to Sunny's point, I would like to uh, answer, uh, add on to the Sunny's point. So if some consumers are looking at this as a key you know, attraction that will my small kids have a place to for daycare. So we already have a tie with IPSA, which provides daycare facilities to most of our condominiums in, uh, in, in Gurgaon. Right. And we have done a similar tie with them in Ultima as well. 
So there's a crutch which has already been created. It's, just, it's inside the clubhouse with a with a lawn, exclusive lawn for the kids to play in. Uh, in addition to that, uh, within the complex itself, the 23 acre large complex which we have, we also have built a proper uh, a kindergarten school and a primary school as well. Uh, of course, we are yet a few months away from tying up with a leading brand, but the structure is already ready. Uh, the crutch is already there and this primary school and kindergarten school will probably come up in a few months time. The building is already ready. We're looking at some uh, good branding types uh, as soon as lockdown is probably over. Okay. Thank you. Also, just to add to one uh, to this, Sunny, so, we have another question coming. Yes, yeah, just just a last sentence. So, uh, because this is a typical question where a lot of people, you know, and especially a lot of senior citizens ask us that if I buy a flat but I need to do some small business also, what can I do? To let you know that within our multiple projects in New Gurgaon, we have almost fifty shops which are there within the projects and we will be very shortly opening the sales of those shops also. So if you want, we can make them available through Prop Tiger. Very shortly, we'll be making those shops available through Prop Tiger also, where not only can you buy a house to live in, but you can also buy a small shop of say two, 300, 500 square feet and you can run your own small business within that uh, commercial complex within the project. So I think it can be a both, you know, residential and commercial thing also. So I think just answering that. Thank you. Uh, yes. Anshuman Deshpande is asking, how do I buy this property through Prop Tiger? Will buying through Prop Tiger fetch me a better price? Sunny, would you want to answer that? Sure. Uh, uh, Mr. Anshuman, I'm assuming you have already uh, left your query with us. Uh, and that is how we probably have your question. Uh, our sales representative will get in touch with you post this webinar and guide you through a step-by-step -step process as to how it can be done. Uh, regarding the special offer or the buying through Prop Tiger will give you a better price or not, we do have some special offers for our buyers and uh, attending who are attending this webinar. So, which we'll want to discuss on a one-to-one -one basis uh, on a virtual call with the DLF staff after this webinar is over. So, we'll connect with you. Mr. Chabra, there's a question. There's a question we've got from Priyam Bansal. What is the approximate maintenance cost of a luxury flat? I'm looking at a 4 BHK for end use. Okay, great. So thank you so much for us for showing interest in, in a 4 BHK and DLF Ultima. Uh, coming to maintenance, I think this is a, again, a very practical question because eventually you're going to live there. And, uh, and I think uh, there are no free meals in this world, you know, so of course everything comes at a price. Uh, since we believe we're giving you a world-class experience and a lifestyle, yes, there is going to be cost to the maintenance. Uh, what we are projecting right now is that it's going to be roughly around, I think, four rupees, uh, you know, on a per square foot basis. So roughly for a four BHK, if you look at the size which we have, so we have different available sizes. We're starting from 2,800, going up to 3,000 square feet. Uh, we have five, six different options uh, without going to detail. So roughly you can look at 10 to 12,000 is going to be your average uh, monthly maintenance cost, uh, right? And of course, uh, we firmly believe that at this cost, the kind of lifestyle you're going to get is not going to be less than staying in a five-star hotel or maybe even a seven-star hotel. So uh, yes, there is a monthly maintenance cost, uh, roughly four rupees per square feet. And uh, the property is very beautifully managed by Cushman and Wakefield. So there happens to be one of the leading IPCs, which does a lot of facility management for top luxury projects across India. And the entire property is being managed by them, and they're doing an ex exceptional job even in these tough times right now uh, for the, all the residents who are already staying there. So, we have more than 100 residents already staying there, and they have been well taken care of by Kushman and Wakefield team also, along with us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Time is up, but we'll quickly take the last two questions. Uh, Mr. Kaikar Bhargav Singh asking us Are your land papers and other documents clean and available? I have heard a lot of builders being accused, but home buyers get to know of all this much later, which leads to our yes. Correct. Correct. What Correct. are the approvals that you have in place as of now? Okay. So again, very, very important question. And historically, I'm sure uh, the saying goes that once bitten, twice shy. So therefore, I'm sure historically, especially in Gurgaon, and especially over the last few years, a lot of, a lot of buyers have bought into projects where the land title has not been very, very clear. And I'm sure uh, since a lot of buyers are here in this, I'm sure they remember cases where even as we speak, there are CBI investigations going on 
in other builders and other projects where the land title is in question and there is a CBI investigation going on into the land title of so many projects, which I don't want to name on this web webinar. But historically, I think DLF and the track record of DLF has been very, very clean. And I think the biggest measure of confidence is that DLF has never entered into joint ventures or entered into JDAs with any other landowner or builder we have always bought our land. We have registered our land first and then applied for all permissions and licenses and paid all our fees. And being a listed company, we are very, very transparent. All our land records and approvals and licenses are there with the competent authority at RERA. And you can go to the RERA's website and you can check out all our documentations, all our licenses all projects across all geographies of uh, DLF. And I'm saying not just in Gurgaon, I'm saying we have projects all across the country. We've got projects in Chennai, in Hyderabad, in Cochin, in Chandigarh, in over 10 cities. Every project is squeaky clean, all approvals in place, all licenses in place. So I think, and this itself is the biggest draw because customers know that they can blindly put their money on the name of DLF because the one thing that they get is surety and safety. So all our projects are clean and all our approvals are in place. Thank you. Uh, one last question. Please pick this up. Will buying from Prop Tiger mean I will be charged higher rate by the builder? This is a question we've got from Sahil Mittal. Mr. Mittal, that, that is definitely not the case. All reputed developers have a standard pricing, which is strictly adhered to. In fact, uh, we provide home buyers a bouquet of pre-purchase and post-purchase services, such as home finance and documentation assistance till the handover of the property is done. And this is absolutely free of charge for the customer. I would say it is our expertise in handpicking the right project as per the customer needs that primarily attracts the buyers more than anything else. Uh, so, so I think uh, that's that's the reason, uh, and there's there's no way I that you want to add Sunny to this because this is a very very important question. And again, yeah, please. I'm sure a lot of customers here will realize that if you go to a lot of builders in Gurgaon, depending on who you are talking to within the team, you will get a different price. And right. this is a practice which is very very prevalent, and therefore this confuses the home buyer thoroughly, because if he's talking to a sales manager A in a particular developer, he will get a price X. And if he's talking to a sales manager B in that developer, he will get a price Y. And the differential between X and Y will be 25%. And this confuses the customer very, very solidly. And he says, I don't understand what I'm buying, i And I think as DLF, we have been able to surmount this problem in a very, very successful way. Just to let everyone here know, we are a listed real estate developer. We have a board that governs everything what happens within the company and the pricing for not just the project, but for every unit within that project is approved by the board. And irrespective of who you go to in Gurgaon, which broker you go to, which sales manager you go to, you will only get one pricing. You cannot get a second pricing for DLF unit from anyone. And that same pricing goes to the CRM team also, our post sales team also. So post your purchase, all documentation that is being done by the post sales team within DLF will be done as per the board approved prices. So you cannot get anything but a standard pricing at DLF. Thank you, Mr. Kaikar. We've Thank come you. to the close of this webinar, but before we wind up, let's get back to our panelists for a quick statement, beginning with you, Mr. Kaikar. I lost you again. Sorry, you, what do you want? We, we are winding it up. So we'd like to know your last thoughts. Oh, oh my, my last thoughts. So uh, of course, I just want to thank Sunny and Sneha, you and the entire team at Prop Tiger for hosting this fantastic seminar and for having us here with you. I think it's been a pleasure and we really look forward to interacting with every one of our over 100 attendees who have come in here. And my parting words are that thank I you. Think you should have the confidence as a customer that you are buying the right product, you are buying into the right location. So as a customer, you first need to zero down on a good location. So New Gurgaon as a location is a good choice. 
then within the location look at a good developer so as a developer dlf is unmatched and finally look at the product so as a product we offer you a portfolio of skycoat of regal of ultima of primus of nth where we have prices across your uh, ticket sizes so all three boxes are ticked and i think this is the right time to buy a property because you will not get this product at this price ever again so we look forward to engaging with you and look forward to helping you choose a unit through prop tiger gaurav thank you for thank you thank you thank you everyone okay. yeah hi so uh, i think firstly thanks to prop tiger team for setting this up and i think a bigger thanks to all the participants who have taken time out you know and in joining us today for this uh, very qualitative informative webinar and i think the parting words would be that uh, i think you should always go with the best and in life i think you should always go with the brands uh, because in in whether it's a tough time or good times you know you can never go wrong with the with the, with the brands whether it's a uh, brokerage houses like prop tiger or whether it is developers like dlf and it's not just about us if you look at any sector and if you uh, put in a hard earned money investment in in your top brand you can never go wrong with it in long term and buying a property is a very uh, it's a long term decision is a very emotional decision i think you should look at our track record which is very visible in ncr especially and uh, we'd love to have a discussion with you like sunny pointed out you can have individual discussions with customers who are interested in courses webinar and we put together a beautiful presentation walk through videos we have pavement gateways so we'd love to engage with you uh, virtually post this webinar if anyone who's keen to take forward discussion with us so thank you once again have a nice day thank you thank you abhi please yeah thank you everyone and first of all i would like to say thanks to the prop tiger team for organizing this uh, webinar for dlf ultima and just a parting words it's all about luxury and we are selling luxury and uh, we have a special tie up with prop tiger and offline we can after this uh, we can connect you one to one and discuss about all this uh, features which we can explain you better on personal level as you want we let us know we'll be uh, available on virtual calls with you thank you thank you everyone for joining us today i can see that there have been a lot of questions which uh, we couldn't answer so post this webinar our, our team will get in touch with you and uh, we hope yeah, we have been yeah. able to make this session knowledgeable for you and you are able to make your uh, home decision purchase thank you thank you thank you for joining us thank you thank you everyone thank, thank you everyone thank you. Thank you. Thank you. bye thank you everyone thanks sir thanks sunny bye thank you thank you thank you sunny thanks very much We're extremely delighted to have addressed some questions by our viewers. Unfortunately, we are running out of time, but viewers may still pour in their questions on our social media handles, and project representatives will get back to you at the earliest. Till yet another episode of Project Talk. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank bye. you.